Hey guys, VBED here with another V Plays, and I really hope you appreciate what I do for you guys, because this is the i210. I mentioned this uh, when I did the MiG-15 video, and somebody recently reminded me that, hey, you said you were going to do an i210 video, where's that at? And I'm like, ah, oh, jeez. I've been postponing it, because I really feel like this is an underperforming aircraft. At tier 6, you actually have a downgrade in overall damage output compared to the tier 5, which is the MiG-3. The I-210 also loses its overall firepower when you upgrade from the starting three machine guns to the two 20mm cannons. They also overheat very quickly, and while you get a little bit more range and you know you can get a crit, they overheat so quick that you have like no sustained damage capability. And I mentioned it, that this is just, like, this is paying the the penance for the good aircraft that you'll be able to fly later. Like, you gotta pay for it now so we can enjoy it later type of a concept. It just really is limited. So, we're looking for... Heavy aircraft are a good target for this plane. Let's go for the heavy aircraft at altitude. We are an altitude fighter. If I run into the BF-109, I'm actually going to be in a bit of trouble. Yeah, look at that damage. Oh, yeah, take it. <laughs> it's like no damage at all. Uh, Alright, I think I might be better going after this defense aircraft. Never mind. So far, we've got 90 points overall this whole battle. See what we can do as we come over here. I would like to be able to influence this 109F, but he is specialized. So he's going to gun down that boomerang and then immediately turn towards me. Because he has an opportunity to do just that. We're going to blitz straight through. See if we can drag him a little bit. A rocket has reached the target. Enemy objects damaged. Now he's going after one of the defense aircraft. He's got one on his six, and he ended up picking up the zone. Man, we are in a tough spot. We're going up against two much better altitude fighters than us. Oh, I shouldn't have come over here. This is my own fault. Best thing we can do is dip the nose and hope that we can get away, but it isn't going to happen. We do not have firefighter. We don't have any skills on the aircraft. Uh, 240 points, and we're already this far into the game. Uh, Zoro Plateos in the MiG-3, great aircraft, but, ugh, what a painful plane to fly in. I thought I was getting help because I thought the bomber was coming over here or something, at least something to kind of distract the enemy, but that wasn't going to happen. Uh, we'll head back in the mid, I believe that's where Zoro is because there's a bunch of light fighters, so hopefully we just lost our zero. Ooh, we're in a bit of trouble. Where's my allies? It doesn't even show. Oh, they're down low. So... Can I... Will it let me? Oop. Okay. Ah, crap. He's low health, but... We just lack the DPM to be able to do anything against that guy. Ooh. Human in a P-38J, that's a much better target for us. Oh, we actually got a kill. Whoa! That was close. Uh, we got a P-47B we just coaxed into intercepting this guy. Let's see if we can come back around and surprise him, maybe. Oh, sweet. We got the specialized BF-109. Man, that was not an easy endeavor. Uh, P-47. It's got a bit of hit points for this tier, and our 160 damage per second might not be as effective as we would like. Now, if it was just me chasing this guy, like, eventually I'd be able to get him. 
I wouldn't be that worried about it, but like Shifty had him all day. Like if I'm up here with any other players, they're easily going to get that kill if we're both shooting at it just because of volume of fire. I'm going to be overheated, um, just not going to be able to pump out the damage quick enough. Like going after bombers, if I was in a Mustang, yeah, it would take some time, but I could do it. I could just hammer down on the trigger right now. But as you can see, these guns are overheating quite a bit. So I have to be very careful with how I use them. I'm essentially little bursts here and there to hopefully be able to take this aircraft out. And that took way too long to do. And we're not going to do so hot on points. I mean, Zoro's doing a great job, but he's also pumping out over 200 damage per second while we're only pumping out 60. Like I mentioned, we are going to be great at being able to chase down heavies. We actually have pretty decent maneuverability even at base. We got a 10.3 second turn circle, or yeah, turn time for going 360. Managed to light that guy on fire. Oh, we got a kill. Nice. Mark it in the book. Okay, Zoro, I don't want your kill. I just hope that I get 75 points from it. Nope, I didn't even, didn't even hit. Uh... I don't think any of those rounds hit. No, they did. They did. Whew. Let's go for the climb. We're going to use some of our boost here. Get ourselves up to altitude. It doesn't hold its speed all that well, but it does have very similar flight ugh, characteristics to what we're used to from the MiG-3. So it'll feel similar, but it's not going to fly similar. Yeah, there's shifties going after this. 288. We're going to try and help out. We're not going to do nearly as much as he will with those 50s and 37. Ah, okay. I feel good about that. Not... Okay, I don't feel good about it, but I feel good about it in the sense that um, I believe that P47 was mine earlier, so it's just uh, all things being equal. Plus, it's one more bomber that isn't over this site. We're maintaining good chase on this P-38J. Got his wings. And we didn't even get the kill. Okay. To be expected. There is a light fighter inbound. It is a Spitfire. All hands on the target. Managed to get a crit. That is one of the advantages that we have with going to cannons. We're going to get this guy into a low energy state. He managed to get his tail there. I'm going to get a bit of distance. And now I'm going to come back around on him. He might be dead by the time I get there. Zoro's on him. Yeah. Like I said, we were lucky that we had Zoro on our team this time. Like, ah, come on. It's not even a strong ground attacker. Oh, we got lucky. PE2. Yes, sir. Let's get on him up. Oh, but what is this? Yeah, that's the human. We gotta we gotta go after this guy. He's trouble. Go. No, don't you kill my ally. We got his engine. And we lit him on fire. Cool, we got lucky. We got lucky. We need a lot of tail gunner fire here. Oh, okay. We eat out another kill. Mark it in the book. Mark it in the book. Oh, jeez. P40, we should be able to outmaneuver him. We're kind of like in this attrition mode right now where we're, we're trying to kill aircraft as fast as they show up. Um, not necessarily catching up to that guy. Oh, he's coming back. Okay, good, good, good. Ah, uh, Doug, a little bit late on that. Got a few hits in there. Come on! Oh, we just hammered down a little bit longer than I felt comfortable with that one. Whew. I think they're going to go pick up that zone. 
I see a light fighter over here. I think he's turning with our buddy. It's the 109 Specialized. Okay. Let's see if we can get over here and help out. I don't think we really have the time, though. He's pulling away. That's our ally in the Zero. Yeah. Oh, he got us. Ah. It's alright, though. That's pretty much going to wrap it up between Zoro flying around and his MiG-3. Whew. It's not even specialized, either. But yeah, this is a really good example of how much better the MiG-3 is than the I-210. <laughs> uh, but we were able to make it work decently. But, uh, man, it, I've been winning games with it. I can get to the right zones. I can be influential. But you'll find that it's hard to secure kills. It's going to overheat very quickly. Time to kill is going to be very high. Oh, sweet. We got a second skill point. I can actually... I want to put that into Engine Guru. Sweet. Always important to have good airspeed. But it's just... it. It's funny the way that this plane works because I actually have... Where's my... Got my MiG-3 over here. We'll go Soviet. Cool. So the MiG-3 has a total of five machine guns. It's got... Uh, 350 cals and two 762s, okay? And it's able to pump out 209 damage. And they're all centrally configured, right? You got three on top and you've got like two or the, the other two. No, the other two are on the wings right here. So it has a lot of firepower it can kick out. So it's just volume. And with them being light machine guns and heavy machine guns, they're able to just fire continuously. However... You look at this thing, and if we were to just downgrade to the machine guns, we're actually pumping out 165 damage per second. Uh, we lose some range, but we get higher fire chance and yada yada yada. So the machine guns are all centrally mounted as well. Going to the 20s, a lot of people found this to be a downgrade. And if you're not going to fly this thing and specialize it, yada yada yada, how many times am I going to say that today? If you're not going to specialize it, a lot of people end up just staying with the 50 kills and they find that they have more consistent play with it. Because in a lot of ways, like I said, the I-210 flies a lot like the MiG-3. It's going to get that altitude performance. It's going to have similar type of flight characteristics. So its maneuverability is going to be something you're going to feel familiar with. It still gets that altitude performance and you'll be able to get through. You'll be able to get through this aircraft in order to get to what I think is a very strong aircraft, the I-220, because at least with the I-220, you have four 20 millimeter cannons and you're able to get up to 380 damage a second, which is a far cry from the 160 on this predecessor of this aircraft. Um, so this thing is really just a bit of a pain, but it's not unflyable. It's just not very enjoyable in my experience and i did pick it back up uh, i'll hope to specialize it if we do specialize it we'll be able to kit it out with some more flight characteristics to increase its overall capability but if we specialize it we're also locked into the 20s so i'm just going to keep them on here uh, i think as a maneuverability platform it's going to surpass all of the other altitude fighters but with that said it's not going to have the DACA to really be able to compete. So like we saw with that hat on with the BF-109, he was able to just gun us down instantly. He's got a lot more firepower than we do. And he's got similar maneuverability, similar altitude. Uh, Specialized, we'll be able to outturn him. I'm pretty sure of that. But yeah. Sorry, guys. If you're, if you're flying through the I-220, it's a bit of a pain. Uh, but it's a... It's going to be... A means to an end because the i220 really is a joy uh it's a very strong fighter and at least with the i220 uh it does lead you to either the ground attacker line or down to the mig-15 and since it is a joy to fly you can keep it and 
specialize it and it's just a solid tier seven fighter if you're helping one of your buddies continue to grind down another line and you're like well i got a tier seven i can fly with you you can pick up the il-10 and work your way down to the il-40s because the russian ground attackers are very strong and very forgiving and then you can also go towards the mig-15 which i think is a stellar tier 10 aircraft and the mig-9 is a really great tier 9 aircraft so i think it's worth the effort it's just going to be a bit of a pain to get through this. Not undo not not undoable, but it's just going to be a bit of a bit of a pain. And much like with the P51H, I do suggest having another aircraft to fly periodically because you'll probably get fairly sick of this. Good news though is it's only a tier 6, so getting to the tier 7 isn't going to hurt as bad. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed uh me stumbling over my words yet again but here here it was the the bane of my existence the i210 <laughs> and hopefully you guys are having better experience with it better luck uh flying with a friend is going to be invaluable with this aircraft and maybe having them feed you some kills pulling their guns off at the last second and letting you secure it so that way you can get out of this as soon as possible so again hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always i'll catch you on the next one